Hi everyone, David here with Precision Sales, and today we're doing a walk around of a CNC 36 mainsail standard, and this is made with the Warp Drive Cruise 8 ounce cloth from Challenge. So let's start, take a nice look at this uh, sail. And actually, before I get started, uh, hey, if you have a business and you own a boat, why not use your sail as a billboard? As you can see, we have Sea and Sky Realty, two of my favorite activities, uh, sailing and skiing, like this. So let's uh, start down in uh, the top corner of this uh, sail. And as you can see, great uh, work by our team on this. You can see the, uh, we'll zoom out here, you can actually see how large that uh, patch is. We've got about five layers of uh, block reinforcements uh, and that goes up uh, approximately four feet and about a foot and a half uh, along the foot. So some great work and reinforcement. And you'll see also the Cunningham has the same amount of re reinforcement too. So nice work there by our team. Flipping over here, we have the uh, foot line with the cleats. Nice work on the team there, by the team there. Nice job on that. Customer uh, requested the uh, loose foot uh, configuration as we work our way over to the clue corner. Nice big ring, webbing, reinforcement there. So great work on that. Just give a quick flip over. As you can see, we've got the cleat for the uh, leech line going up the sail. And uh, one of the things we do with all loose foot uh, configuration sails, uh, we provide additional re uh, Velcro webbing and this can be used uh, to wrap around the boom to provide additional support and pull down that sail onto the boom. So again, uh, in this corner, look how big that uh, block corner is. Uh, we've got five layers of reinforce, reinforcement. And then as well, you can see in between that we have an additional layer of belting going on. Okay, we're getting up to the uh, first reef point. Uh, all mainsails uh, by uh, precision uh, come standard with one reef, uh, which the customer wanted. You can also go up to a, a second or even a third reef point too. So some uh, great work uh, by, by our team. And as you'll see, our sails have a uh, reef belt that goes all the way across the sail and that gives additional reinforcement, uh, just like uh, down at the foot. And you'll actually see at the grommet uh, attaching the fastening point uh, for the reef, uh, there's a couple of blocks of reinforcement in there. So uh, great attention to detail. As well, uh, at the reef point, you'll notice we have just the same amount of blocks, uh, block reinforcement. So uh, some really nice work uh, by our team on that. Working our way at the sail, we actually have two layers of tape, uh, some additional reinforcement along each of the seams. And uh, with this, uh, the customer requested the uh, four partial battens. And as you can see, we've got the uh, tie-in. So the way it works is it slides in and uh, gets attached and uh, tied like that. And what it does, it creates some great pressure or tension uh, along the edge to give the uh, leech of the sail uh, the, uh, the tension it needs to catch the wind. Uh, the customer also requested uh, double draft stripes, about halfway and the last third of the sail moving up uh, as well. Uh, customer requested uh, their own customized uh, numbering and a beautiful example of the CNC 36 uh, insignia on that. So great work by the team. And just moving our way up, looking up at the head, you can see uh, the number of block patches, reinforcement patches, and that is about five to six feet tall. Uh, so some great work on that. We also uh, recently shot a video uh, for the head sail. That's a, a 150 Genoa. So if you have a CNC 36, um, you, know, you can definitely take a look at uh, that video as well. That's gonna be part of, uh, of this video too. So, working our way down uh, the luff of the sail, let's uh, focus in on the attention to detail uh, for the mast slider. We've got the slug 
great work uh, by our team for the uh, stitching and webbing there. We have the grommet, and then the, the thing I like about this is that they've added a layer of plastic which protects against chafing when the sail's moving around. So great attention to detail you get with every sail from Precision on that. As well, an, an additional uh, reinforcement for the grommet uh, to protect uh, against any ripping. So with this, uh, this is made with the warp draw material from Challenge. And uh, with this high aspect uh, sail, um, the nice thing about this is that you've got the best of both worlds. Um, you've got the tri-radial shape uh, of the warp drive that comes from the race world. And it's made instead of with very expensive and delicate laminates, this is made with Dacron. So you've got long life with high UV protection uh, in the warp drive uh, cloth. So there you have it. Uh, nice uh, mainsail, and there's also a video of uh, the customer also ordered a 150 Genoa, so you can check that video out. So if you have a CNC 36 uh, or CNC or any sailboat, we'd love to get a quote to you, and uh, we have uh, we get our quotes out to customers very quickly, so you can really get a, an idea about what our price point is, and I think you'll be very impressed with that. Thanks for watching.